It appears to be that we are in a huge pickle because today when we have to go back to Quito, people are doing protests and they blocked off a major, <laughs> a major highway to just get there. So the buses are not leaving today apparently, and they don't even know how long this thing is gonna go for. So. Huh? I don't know if there's I don't know if there's gonna be more people coming here they need to go there or the bus can take another way to get there. No idea, so we're just gonna wait here and see what happens. Cause um Yeah, I don't think it's just gonna be a one day thing. They don't they don't get what they want. When I when I was in South America the first time in 2014 I was in a backpack in Bolivia, and every time there was a protest, I kept missing it, so it was always behind me. And when I was in Sao so, so Paulo Uni, there was a protest in, oh, I don't know, some city up north there in the last few three days. They so we'll see. They're not, they're not so happy with their president, I think, so. Yeah, but that might be for a little while. So. It's 9.20 in the morning and they already say it's going to be a whole day thing but we hope there's a bus leaving with some people. These guys are starting to block off the roads here. Uh, riding is just about the start. We did talk to one shopkeeper and um, a lot of people are closing up shop because they're worried that the um, rioters are going to come later on this afternoon and basically start stealing stuff. Not so, if they see that they're not supporting the cause, yeah, then they take stuff from them because the locals here expect everyone to join in the cause. Uh, they're not too happy with their new president, I think he's been in power for about five months now or so, okay. and uh, yeah. Hold on guys, I gotta put the phone away here for a second. Film this nice wall. All right. Gotta be super careful right now. Um, what was I saying? Yes, the president, they're not happy with the president. And one of the major issues I believe is the price of gasoline has gone up and people are blocking off the roads. If you follow us on Instagram, you know that uh, we can't get back to Quito because the road's blocked, just like you've seen in the beginning of the video. So we're gonna walk around, see see what's going on with these uh, these road blockages. I don't know, you know what you call them. Um, basically, just get guys with dump trucks and, and bulldozers, and they're just even on a major highway going to Quito. They just completely full, fill the whole road with rock and sand and block all traffic. No one can get anywhere. Just it's pure madness. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To, to be there. <laughs> to be honest, we just uh, because we're stranded here in Otavalo, um, we just decided to go for a walk. We just uh, decided to go for a walk to the waterfall. They have a pretty waterfall near here, and then yeah, we started seeing kind of what's going on. You know, people closing up shop. I uh, seen a lot of worried, worried looks. Oh my God. Um, sorry, I keep moving the phone around. It's every time someone comes to the right of me, I kind of got to put my phone to the left here so no one can grab it and run. <laughs> Super paranoid right now. However, we got to show you guys uh, what's going on here in Otavalo, Ecuador. Um, yeah, anyway, what was I saying? A lot of shopkeepers, super worried. I passed by a few of them. They looked really kind of scared. Uh, a lot of them just had their, like the shutters, the steel shutters, kind of half open or half closed, um, debating whether to close up for the day or not. But we're going to walk around some more, film some more of what's going on, you know. Hope you've been enjoying the video so far. But I guess it can't always be hiking videos and cool touristic sites. We have to film the madness that's going on right now as well. All right. Hey, 
It's starting, guys. It's starting. Well, there you have it. Uh, those guys are going around telling all the shopkeepers to shut down their stores. Uh, if not, probably end up getting looted. Uh, definitely, I don't agree with that. But it looks like the whole protest has uh, went into second gear so far. Um, a lot of stores are closed. Supermarket's still open, so we should head there because everything is closing up. And we need food to eat for today. <laughs> and this is the Plaza de Los Panchos. You can see it is completely dead. And again, no one is really allowed to operate. If you're caught, my understanding is, uh, one of the shopkeepers, as I was saying before, if you're caught selling anything, they're just gonna rob you blind. Yep. Yeah. Good point. All those stores in the morning were open. All this is open. All those things. Even the fried chicken place is closed. At least a handful of people are open. Yeah. But still, I mean, to go around to threaten... Basically, you're threatening your neighbors. Not, yeah. If you don't support their cause, they're going to rob you. <laughs> it's... uh. You know, I don't agree with what the Ecuadorian government is doing, but at the same time with these people, how they're handling it, I don't agree with it at all. With threats of violence and looting. Anyway, there's our supermarket, La Mia. Right. So we're in this uh, pastry shop. We're just buying a cake to our hostel owner. Super nice guy, so we thought we'd treat him to a cake. But some shops are doing this thing like they look closed but you just gotta sneak underneath and then we asked them hey you guys open they said yeah they're open uh again a lot of these shops are closed you can tell these ones are all closed but if you do walk around here and you see this one kind of half open you just gotta peep your head underneath and you're good to go and these are some of the big goods they have here delicious i was just explaining the cake we're buying for jorge Jorge is their uh, hostel, our uh, hostel owner. Very helpful guy, helping us as we're uh, waiting, um, leaving, leaving this town to get back to Quito. So he's kind of letting us know the news and what's going on with the buses. All right, we're back. We got Jorge's cake. Hopefully, he likes peach. And. Uh, yeah, if you guys ever stay in Otavalo, you got to stay at this hostel here. Hostel Paucar. Super nice guy. Very helpful. And right in front of the Ponchos. Yes, right. And it's right in front of the Plaza de los Panchos. Super nice guy. Helped us out. So. Uh -oh. All right. We just dropped off the uh, cake there. Looked like he's gonna enjoy it. <laughs> However, he did give us some bad news about the highway closure. Yeah, he doesn't think it's <laughs> Doesn't look like we're leaving anytime soon. Um, uh, oh, I think it is. Is the president already signed? Yeah, the declaration uh, of gas, hiking gas prices or whatever it is. Yeah, it's not, it's not gonna be done anytime soon. Such a weird situation we're in here. Um, Yay, it's not even in my own country. Yeah. We're just trying to get this to Quito because we gotta do the PCR test and take the flight to the next country. Um, yeah, anyway. Picked us up some apples, some blueberries, tuna, a couple of beers, and this is where we can watch uh, if, you know, rioting does happen. Ah, probably will happen here. Anyway, I'm not sure how to end this video. Um, I'm ending this video with a question mark as to what's going to happen. Because I don't know how we're going to get out of here. There you go, guys. That's how they protest here in... Uh, Ecuador with a machete.
Yeah, see now. Oh, yeah, everyone's. That's it. are hitting them yeah are you kidding me you're saving that... your own people with a machete on the street like oh if yeah you don't there's do it, there's I'm gonna something do going something on here you. i guess that's how they get courage is through big numbers and big sticks <laughs> 